Hey, 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 it is Darlena Rose, your health and well-being coach. Well-being because it is your entire life. It is your health first and then everything else, your relationships, your career, all of the things that are around you that create you. It is day five of 12 days of gratitude. And today we're talking about having a cup of self-reflection. Mm. So don't you just love a hot drink? It just feels so good going down. And as the weather is getting cold, this is a perfect time for a warm drink. Mm, so good. So what we're going to do is talk about self-reflection. And there's something about having a warm cup of tea, cocoa, hot cider, something that makes you feel like self-reflecting. So get your cup, put a little tea, a little cocoa, something hot in it to drink, and go sit on your front porch in your rocker and let's have a moment of self-reflection. Oh, you don't have a porch? You don't have a rocker? Darn. All right, well then how about take a walk um, to your, to your uh, favorite uh, bistro or, or downtown coffee shop and get your nice warm cup. How about even calling a friend and having a cup of tea or cup of cocoa with them? And just sitting outside and um, having a cup of self-reflection, watching the leaves on the trees fall down right now. They're, well, most of them are gone, but some are still gold and brown and yellow, looking really, really pretty this time of year. And, you know, sometimes when you do that, you know, with a person, you know, you can give them a moment to self-reflect, and then you can take a moment to self-reflect, sit back, relax, and even be silent, quiet, while you think and meditate on that. So today's tip is just talking about your own time of self-reflection, having that cup. You could even do this with kids again. When they come home from school, pour a cup of cocoa for everybody, turn all of the electronics off, and when you turn the electronics off, turn all your senses on and be present in the moment with them while you self-reflect with them, ask questions with them and questions of yourself, and just kind of enjoy that. But take some time to, as you're self-reflecting, ask yourself some questions like, what makes you special or likable? Um, what would you say are your most redeeming qualities? How about, imagine this, if someone had to write your eulogy, what qualities and gestures would they be writing about about you that you've always done over the course of your life? What would people say about you? What would you want them to say about you? If you are who you are today and it's not who you like to be right now or you're not living up to the expectations um, that you would like to have happening, the thoughts that you have about yourself in your own head about who you are and who you want to be, what changes could you make to move you closer to your own personal goals or how you want to show up and see yourself in the world? When writing in your journal, you don't necessarily have to write out paragraphs and paragraphs. You can even try making a list of things that you're grateful for and making the notes about who you want to be in the world. How about thinking about who are the people that you honored in your childhood? Who was important to you? How about um, in your teenage years? Who was important? Who, who would you want to honor around then? How about um, in your adult years now? Who are you honoring and who are you making? Um, who, who do you think about when you talk about your journey in life? Who are you thinking about um, when you say that person showed up and showed out for you um, and being grateful for that person? How about the good, when you're writing down the good stuff, 
don't forget to write about the twists and the turns because there's some twists and some turns in everything, right? And remember, be grateful for who you are today. Look how far you've come and the ways that you've changed from when you were younger in your less experienced self. Celebrate the wiser, more mature you because you're more wiser and you're more mature than you were. And think about who you will be tomorrow. So day five is all about having a cup of self-reflection and taking time to reflect on who you are. You may not be where you want to be, but you sure ain't where you used to be. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day six of 12 Days of Gratitude. Have a good one. Bye.